What's up, YouTube? I'm um, going to be making a video on this new uh, it's a 10.1 inch Android car radio. Uh, the brand is by Benezi, I believe it's called, or Benizi, B I N I Z E. So I went ahead and I bought it off uh, Amazon. It was about 120 bucks when I bought it. I'm not sure if they went up, but they do make it in a 10.1 and they make it in a 7.1. This is a 10.1 Android version 9.1. Uh, if you want the exact link on, on this particular model, if you like this one itself, because like I said, there's several other versions and models, um, I'll leave the, the link in my description. That way it makes it a lot easier. If you like this one, you click on my link. It takes you directly to Amazon and you can purchase it directly there. It's a very good screen, you know, not that expensive. So let's see. So as soon as you turn it on, this is the main screen. Um, I'm in LA, California, so you can actually change that in the parameters, two miles per hour. Um, this car is a show vehicle, so the battery's always being disconnected while it's sitting in the garage. Well, it's, you know, it's getting worked on now. But you can change that two miles per hour as you're driving that changes and it'll go based by GPS how fast you're driving um, this is also pretty cool it actually tells you when your lights are on or off lights are off lights are on lights are off it's pretty cool um, so we'll just start with the screen these are all your settings pretty much you know sound you got your equalizers different Hertz you know custom your classic your jazz um, system info you know, Android versions, stuff like that, iOS, bus. Factory settings, you could, you could access different settings in here. Um, these are just like the factory in-depth settings of it. I won't go through all that because that's technical stuff. So um, if you do want to go in there, password is 8888, enter, and it'll take you in there. Car settings, you know, this is all the extra stuff. If you have an OBD2 scanner that you can connect to this, um, you can do all your setting into cars and there Android settings as well GPS detection this just tells you how strong the GPS um, antennas working volume settings obviously you know your media your calls your mixing ratio as you're driving and you want to mix your, your music as the time it rings or your feedback through your GPS brightness obviously navigation this one uses I'm using Google Maps as my navigation. You can use whatever you want, TomTom Tom or whatever. Steering Learn, my doesn't have the volume and all stuff, but if you have volume or you change the channel, you could actually, you know, it will work with it. You just gotta go through like the whole learning thing with this, but it does work. Um, car logo, when you turn it on, after it's been off for, let's say overnight, it'll turn on. Um, you can set different logos or whatever you wanna do to it. Um, Android Mazda, they do have all the actual car ones and stuff like that. Um, I, I, you know, this car is a Lexus GS300, so I do have the Lexus logo set on mine. But since I messed with it, you know, right before I made this video, it didn't really pop up. But you know, you can see it's it's very fast. You know, it's not glitchy or nothing like that. Considering you know, it's it's a very you know cheap price. Let me see here. But like I said, you know, Jeep and all that stuff, Cadillac. You know, there's the Lexus one right there. Set. It's down Dylan. Um, animation, you can, it also has USB so you can import an animation and set it in here. Uh, that was logos, other settings, flow bar, handbrake, um, if you want to, you know, if you want to set it to your handbrake for the reverse and loss of uh, screen setting for screen mode, reverse setting, we're not going to be doing all that stuff. So let's go back home here. Let's go this, this is how you go through your, all your apps that are actually installed on here so these are the basic ones that I installed um it does come with Play Store which is equivalent to like apps the uh, Apple Store for Apple but this is an Android so you have a Play Store um, USB DVR so if you want to connect the camera um, this is a driving camera that you put on your windshield it will record into this and you can do playback on the screen instead of having a, a SD card um, YouTube um, Pandora that's why I listen through my music too through Pandora you can see how sure that it works. Let's 
turn on the volume. That way we don't get no copyrights or whatever for the video. In case something does start playing. So yeah, you see right there. Drake, play DJ Khaled's playing. New music and all that stuff. Which one that it does play, you know. I listen to all kinds of music, Spanish, English, you know. Drop, stuff like that. Hip hop, party soundtracks, Euro, stuff like that. But, you know, just showing you guys that word. See right there, it is plain. So that'll be that. Let's pause that. Boom. Boom. Bluetooth, local music, net and all that stuff. Video, Boom. Google Maps, like I said, that's what I use. Yeah, we got it. So, it is what it is, you know, just like a phone. Show you how that works. Calculator for whatever reason, calendar, car settings, um, Chrome. You want to you want to browse the internet? You got that there. Phone link. That's like that's like a phone mirroring system. Android USB or Android Wi-Fi, iPhone Wi-Fi. About you know, if you want to send files from your phone to your screen, you can do that. Exit on that. Manual. You do have the manual in here for the for the screen itself. So if you want to. You know, if you want to go in there, you want to mess with a few things, you know how it goes, that's that. Radio, you know, looks pretty cool, you know, pretty up-to-date stuff. Looks nice. Put Bluetooth, you got your phone right here. If you want to stream music from your phone to your screen, hit that right there. There it is right there, that's what, that's what I was streaming from my phone to there. So, you, know, you can skip songs on there, whatever you want to do. Stuff like that. But overall, yeah, it's, you know, it's a pretty good screen. Let's see what else. I have no media files, of course, because I don't have um, I don't have a USB connected here. But you do have a USB. Like I said, you have two USBs actually, and you can connect the USB port, USB, with music, videos, or whatever you want, and then you know, look them off through here. It's pretty cool. So it's just basically like you know. The way when people ask me about this, um, I tell them basically it's, it's like a tablet. You know, it's like a tablet in your in your car. If you were to connect the tablet to your car, you would need a your tablet obviously, and you would need to somehow stream whatever's on your tablet to let's say your head unit. So now you need a tablet and you need a head unit. Um, this is everything in one. This is your head unit. So and it does have it's pretty much a tablet with the head unit built into it so it does have the 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 speaker outputs it does have the rca outputs for your amplifiers and all that stuff um your subwoofers um that's the way i have it on mine so i think this is a better route to go through um let's see so i guess you know sorry about that sorry about where we at the home screen um so go to pandora Let's just say if you do want, let's just play a little bit of music that we get some, you know. Cool. I just don't want to let it play too much, you know. I don't want the video to get flagged for um, copyright issues or whatever. But if you have any more questions, um, if you guys want to know anything about this, the reason why I say any more questions is because people were asking me some questions through Instagram and I just figured it'd be a lot better just to make a video on it but yeah if you guys have any more questions you know before we go let me, you know I'll show you guys that YouTube does work um, I know my daughter likes to you know watch Ryan and all that stuff in here see like I said but you know this is up-to-date stuff you know entrepreneur stuff um, you know it's pretty it's my guys premium over there they do vehicle wraps um, you know, pretty much anything, dude. Any, anything you guys want to look at on here, it's it's on here. Um, let's just see. I need a phone call right now. So, I'm gonna just delete that. Hang it up. But yeah, when you just saw, phone call just came in. It does have um, it does have a built-in microphone here, so you do not need to run an external mic. That's actually a good point that I that I didn't go over. Um, but let's just let's just go through there. Um, like I said, you guys aren't aren't here buffering or nothing like that. Everything's pretty quickly snappy. You know, no, doesn't really buffer too much.
you know, go through these ads and stuff like that. But bam. Zoom into it, full screen. There it is. So you guys want to fast forward? You guys can fast forward. So it's pretty cool, you know. Doesn't buffer much. It's pretty quickly, you know. So you guys, you guys over at Prima, Prima Auto Styling. You know, you can mess with that. You know, it's gonna buffer. You know, it's really, it's really quickly, very snappy. Yeah. So. So yeah guys, so if you guys have any more questions, if you guys want to know anything about the screen, I can do my best to help you guys out. Like I said, if you guys want direct, if you guys want to buy this particular screen, if you guys like the way that this app, you know, they have Android system 8.1 and all that st other stuff before. And I know I know some of the people that actually I've talked to, they went ahead and they bought it or it, when they bought it, they bought it through a different link. And you know, it, when they got it, it was something different. It wasn't exactly like mine. And you know, they had troubles with it or, for whatever reason. But if you guys want, this one itself, this same model, this same operating system. You know, if you like how this one performs, like I said, I'll leave the I'll leave the link to the Amazon um, Amazon URL that I got it from. That way, you guys can you guys know that you guys are gonna get this exact screen. So, like I said, I'll leave the I'll leave the link in the, my description in the bottom, and just go ahead and click. You could just go ahead and click it. I mean, it's not that much. You can get paid like 120 bucks for 124 or something like that. And um, yeah, it's, it's you know I'm very happy with it. Uh, very modern. Um, you know, most screens are seven inch. They do have a seven inch model for this. This is a 10.1. Um, but yeah, so just go ahead and click this one. This you know I upgraded from my seven inch to this 10 inch, and no no regrets. I'm very happy. Um, to those people from Instagram that actually did buy this particular one like i told them and i sent them the link and they that's the way that they bought theirs um all of them are very happy with it you know it's a, it's a very great it's a very cool upgrade so if you have like i said you got any, any more questions or anything you know go ahead and um leave, leave a comment on the bottom um i will i'm just starting off on this youtube channel i've, I've had it for a while but i've never really updated i've never really up, up post anything to it um but i will be posting a lot of stuff regarding my car and stuff like that um like if you guys you guys want anything more about the car you know you guys you know like i said ask you know you guys could ask in the bottom you know those of you who know about the car about this gs um you guys know i'm going wide body on it i'm doing the wide wheels it's already on airbags you know can do candy paint maybe you know just a lot, a lot of a lot of the vip stuff to it um but yeah if you guys have any more questions uh go ahead and leave comments in the bottom um please if you can like and subscribe it to this channel i'm gonna be like i said i'll be posting a lot of more stuff up you know a lot more stuff to this channel um in regards to you know upgrades that i'm doing like you know screens like this maybe some amplifiers subwoofers um a lot of automotive stuff a lot of do-it-yourself stuff a lot of techie stuff but yeah if you do have any more questions go ahead and like i said leave a comment in the bottom and i'll do my best to get back to you guys like and subscribe hit the bell so you guys get notifications and 